Hey yo, welcome back to Theory Kiss. And now, after we've done the Arkans Quest, let's do the Felis Fushus Fushus Chapter Act One. All right. Uh huh. Return to the quest screen. Okay. Let's go. It's time for us to see with Charlotte to see to go and see Charlotte. Charlotte, Char Charlotte. What? It's too lazy. It's time for us to see Charlotte. Oh. Hey, isn't that Charlotte? Wait, are we? Okay, so what I'm thinking is because previously in the first Arkham Quest we are, uh, I think we are in a stalemate status with Lini, but I don't know why. What? So now I don't know what we are gonna be doing with Lini. Absolutely, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The Phantom Weasel, Phantom Weasel. never acts as you expect. He must have faked his own death ten years ago using a body double. What? Now that he's back, I'm sure the guards who worked on his case back in the day are in for a headache, but however this turns out in the end, the one couldn't agree more. As a journalist, I'm gonna get a lot of mileage. So we are gonna be you, sir, what, uh, defeating oh, Phantom I Weasel? Next. Oh, hey! What a coincidence! Fancy meeting you here! It seems like we are doing a uh, Charlo story quest rather than doing Lini story quest. <laughs> so, the Phantom Weasel's latest warning letter. What are your thoughts? What? Yeah. Phantom it's Weasel? The first time we're hearing of this one. Could you clue us in? Yeah, clue us in. Huh? Oh, oh, sorry. Yes, this case is from a decade, decade ago. Decade ago, I haven't I here. I'm decade ago. I'm still uh what? Blackout, uh, sleeping on a beach. And Paimon is still drowning. Well, not to worry. You're in good hands because I'm a professional. Oh, me too. The story goes like this. Ten or so years ago, All a right. phantom thief became active in the court of Fontaine. Okay. Known only as the Weasel. Nobody knew his true identity, and the authorities never managed to catch him. Okay. Wow, cool! He sounds like one of those mysterious night burglars that you read about in novels. Precisely. Precisely. Well, the what? part where they actually have a good reputation. <laughs> good reputation. Well, <laughs> dear, and no one was safe from his predations. He good would just then, as soon think... steal a necklace from a rich merchant's safe as he would a toy doll given to a commoner child for their birthday. No, don't do that. I know. The phantom thieves you read about in novels rob the rich to pay the poor. Aww. But this guy did not discriminate. Is it a good thing? Unsurprisingly, this didn't work wonders for his public reputation. Every man and his dog wanted to see him behind bars. Every man and his dog. Yes. How do you know, huh? So, what if their uh, dog wants him to be a friend? Um, not exactly. There's a good chance that the weasel would still be at large to this day if it hadn't been for an accident. Right. A magician named Caesar, Caesar fell to his death in a botched high altitude escape performance. Okay. When the police went through his personal effects, they found a hoard of stolen loot and gadgets used for criminal activities. And that was how the phantom weasel's identity was revealed to all. Sure enough, huh? thefts in Fontaine went down after Caesar's death. So is he Phantom, the, the Phantom Weasel? The notorious thief has once again issued one of his warning letters and pasted it on the gate of the Opera Epicles for all to see. It's funny because uh, since the first day until before Fontaine, the, I think it's very rare for someone to die in Genshin. I think the only uh, person who's dead is uh, who? Signora? How do you expect me to read this? <laughs> Yeah, the only person that's that has died is Signora. But since so we are in Fontaine, the, the first day we are her. here, Let's someone's died you. already. <laughs> someone's died already. <laughs> Three days from now, when evening falls, I shall take from you that which, which you hold me. most dear at the opera house. Just as you did to me ten years ago. What do you mean? This is, without a doubt, a clear declaration of criminal intent. After years, years of laying, laying low, low, the Phantom Weasel is back with a vengeance. What once seemed mm. like an open and shut case has been blown wide open again. But why has he re-emerged now? And what does he want? I sense an epic scoop. And I'm going for it. Well, uh -oh. careful. If this thief will steal anything that other people value, does that mean even we might be turning? <laughs> you might still, <laughs> you might snap you little time one. Oh, choo -choo -choo. But Paimon doesn't want to get kidnapped. Well, he'd have to go through you first. 
Well, take the positive side. You are very precious to me. I see Lini here. He's doing a magic trick. Let's see. I've got a photo of the letter, my interview notes. Yep, that should be enough to form the skeleton of my article. It does feel like something is missing, though. I think that's his idle animation, though. Lini's idol animation is playing cards, throwing hats, the summoning cats, popping up, popping out from nowhere. Who should I interview next? I need someone with a more concrete. How do you know me? someone's have a connection hmm. with the weasel? Uh, is that who I think it is? Yes, it's Lini. Yeah. How do you know if he's? Lini. Not Magic. every magician. magician. <laughs> I don't. Magic, yeah, not every magician is correct to the Phantom Weasel. See, the original Phantom Thief Caesar was a magician uh -huh. too. And what do Phantom Thieves and magicians have what? in common? They both have an air of mystery. You could just as well uh, say that uh, the Phantom Weasel back then is a guy, so perhaps you can uh, yes, just yes. interview every guy what in this country. Yeah, what sort of deduction is that? My journalistic instinct tells me that an exclusive news story is beckoning. Let's go. No time for delay. Well, I think the <laughs> the audience is disappointed there. <laughs> they all just go, <laughs> just yeah. They all just go to the way. The forgotten thief. All right, all right, all right. <gasps> it's a feeling. Yo. Wow, Mr. Magician, how did you know which card I picked? I hope our relationship with Lin oh, is still good. Cause Come closer and I'll let you in I quite seat. like how he, have a skill how his character is. Which means we can read up really? Then what am I thinking ha! now? <laughs> the greatest question ever. Well, then what am I thinking you now? Need to relax, because I can see that you're clenching your fist <laughs> in your mind, as if to say, "No, I mustn't let him guess yeah. it." Aww. Aww. And now you're getting a little flustered. You're trying to <laughs> you're find just, a way to empty your mind. Bruh. To think of nothing It's just a common knowledge. But the more you try to hide a secret, the easier I it'll can, come out. I can, under, I can know what you guys are thinking about right now. You guys are thinking, I'm handsome. Right? I'm so charming. I am so... Even you if people are saying it, today, you guys should be a guy. I mean, boys. A so, lie, so you could come out and play. I'm not gay. <laughs> no. Nah. Oh boy, you really can read my mind. Of course. I can read. I can read mine too. M I N D. Mine. You should really be heading home. Remember to apologize to your family. What? All right? What? They what have you done, kid? What have you done that you uh, that make you need to apologize to people, your family? Bye, Mr. Magician. Bye, Mr. Magician. Bye. Oh yeah, I hope. Uh, the, the, yeah, I hope our relationship with uh, relation with Lin is going well. Hey, Linny. Why, hello. We meet again. Are you looking? Oh, why don't you guess, Mr. Telepathic? Oh please, you didn't <laughs> believe that spiel, did you? The power of telepathy is quite beyond me. I'm sure that okay. child would beg to differ. Seemed like you were right on the money. That was nothing more than a little trickery. I made an educated mm -hmm. guess based on his micro expression. That, plus the fact that he was the only kid here without his parents, and he looked as guilty as sin. He made See? it easy for me. You guys, on the other hand, hmm. Whoa. Let me guess. Don't tell me you're here for the Phantom Weas. Wow. This is one of your trick I have worked. Really? <laughs> no, no trickery this time. It was pure luck. His warning letter's been the talk of the town, so I think. Ata still hasn't talked or that. say anything to Lini. I just say hi. Bingo! I plan on writing a column reporting on the latest news about the Phantom. So Lini, what are your thoughts on this infamous thief's reappearance? Hmm. To be honest, it makes me angry. Why? Angry. What? You read his letter, right? The Phantom Weasel claims he's planning something in three nights time at the That's Opera House. The I'll be performing there. That's the night I'll be performing there. Uh-huh. Oh, so you're still performing? Wow. Wait a minute, you don't think he's after you, do you? 
Well, if he is, then his warning is clearly a direct challenge to me personally. Yo, and if he's not, between magicians. then it's still going to be a huge headache for me. The mere mention of the weasel's name is enough to scare people off. So once the contents of that letter get out, barely anyone will be showing up to watch my show. Hmm. But I so the most important thing for Lenny should time. be his I'm not audience. I'm about to let him ruin my big day. This leaves me with only one choice. I have to expose the Phantom Weasel's identity before the show begins. Okay. Really? So what you're saying is, we might get to see yeah, a live duel infamous, between a famous magician team. and an infamous thief? Wow. So, 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 okay. This, to be honest, I'm not sure if I'll emerge the victor. The Phantom first. Weasel is a notorious crook. All right, all right, all right. too modest, Linny. I think your magic tricks are even more inscrutable than those. Thanks for the compliment. It still hasn't to say, hasn't said anything to Linny. A lot of people liken magicians to thieves because we both have the ability to make things disappear without the person noticing. But there's oh, no have I told you guys that, that these people overlook? This is actually part of my ritual to gacha the the Allow character. Allow me to demonstrate with a quick magic trick. Yeah. Here, I have I'm a trying flower. to get close with Just the character first. Just a flower that yeah. was picked not long ago. Watch it carefully now. Three, two, one. Okay. Yeah. Aether still it's having a good relation with Lainey. That's the Where'd question. Where go? That's the first go? line that you say to Lainey. After the whole conversation, where did it go? Lies the difference between us. Thieves make precious things disappear, but only magicians make them reappear. If I could now invite you all to check okay. your clothes, there might be a surprise in there somewhere. You find something, Charlotte? A surprise? Oh, let me see! Oh! You have to... hmm. What an outstanding trick! Sorry, Linny, it seems that my previous praise was woefully inadequate. Yeah. Clearly, magic is the superior art yeah, form. Yeah, clearly, don't you are far beyond stupid. <laughs> I just wanted to take the opportunity to perhaps change some of the preconceived notions you might have about magicians. Okay. Since Caesar's death, a, a lot people. of people associate magicians Yeah, with Yeah, Charlotte, don't be like that. It be quite frustrating. How dare you? Um, coming back to your trick just now. Yeah, uh, how dare you? Uh, uh, not, not accusing. Uh, how dare you have the prejudgmental of uh, every magician is to thief? Huh? Use rainbow roses and their flower related huh? performances to represent passion and romantic encounters. But you used a loony do spell, which, if I'm not mistaken, allude to separations. I'm curious to know if there was any deeper meaning behind this choice. Impressive knowledge. Impressive knowledge. It's no yeah. wonder you're such a successful journalist. But I'm afraid I don't know the first thing about floral oh, symbolism. Okay. I'm just in the habit of using Lumidu spells in Lumidu my. Spell. Sounds like something I should look into, though. Hmm. I'll buy myself a copy of Floral Language Facts. Floral Language Facts. <laughs> when I have some time. But it'll have to wait until this Phantom Weasel business is. Bu well noted. In that case, this brings us to the end of our interview. I Just like that? I'm looking forward to the final showdown between you Did you the... ask any question, Chalo? Please feel free to get in touch to update me on I don't feel like she's... Well, perhaps I missed, I missed the conversation. I will post I... you at your show in uh, three yeah. days time. But let's hope right, the right, right. If there's nothing else... Uh, I'm gonna read... I'm gonna read more. <laughs> I'm gonna pay attention to more <laughs> to no what she say. If I wanna write that exclusive piece. I'll see you all later. Alright, see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And now... Another so, awkward tension. Between us, us and right him. <laughs> I'm afraid that's my little secret. Aww. Well, magicians are entitled to their secrets. But my mom's real. My mom's really itching to know how. You feel it too, right? So itchy. You should. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> No, that's what well, I said. So <laughs> How would you like to serve as my temporary magician's assistant? Good, good. good. At least Genshin make the conversation more logical for us. Uh, that that's that's really oh, into the conversation. Well, they make the conversation more logical. Also, it'll bring us one step closer to figuring out how that darn trick is done. Shut up. <laughs> okay, lah. Excellent. Mm. Thank you for putting your trust in moi. moi. The first thing we need to look Italian? into is who Caesar really was. 
if he truly was the Phantom Weasel, that means that the Weasel is dead. Mm -hmm. And whoever wrote this warning letter is just There's a copy. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought also. Yeah, but I have the thought also. Okay, the weasel? Right, I don't hmm. tell you what well, my thoughts before. Well, that'll things more interesting. It would mean that the Weasel lives, and he's been laying low all this time in some corner of Montaigne. And Perhaps. if we're investigating Caesar, his fiance Gemma is a good place to start. Okay. Word is that she visits the cemetery often, so I asked Lynette to wait for her there. We should make a move. Oh. Let's go and rendezvous with Lynette. R rendezvous. Rendezvous. I'm learning English, guys. Rendezvous. Quit following me. Behold. Okay. We shall go to... Is it in Poshan? Poshan? Yeah, I remember it's called Poshan. Guys, if you are uh, staying in front of PC or screen too long, remember to drink. <sighs> Feel the freshness of the hydro. The seawater. <laughs> yeah, seawater is the case. Seawater is the thing that's uh, becoming the, the main trouble. The main problem in the previous case, in the previous upon quest. Uh, I think I'll just fly here to make it easier. Not so high. The uh, wind rises. Okay. I think I'm. I'm <laughs> I don't think I'm getting anywhere by doing that. <laughs> okay, I have to go here. There's a teleport point there. A bit to oh wait no, no that's not it. There's a challenge thing, time challenge. Uh wait. I'm sorry guys, I have to I have to unlock teleport point first. I may not I may not have a I may not have a I may not be doing. <laughs> Damn grammar! I hate. Gr I'm sorry. I love English. <laughs> I hate the grammar. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, yeah. Even though I have, I haven't started my um, exploration yet, but still. Wait, so this is graveyard. Okay. Hi, Lynette. How they bird the background is also you very cool. Time. Sorry, I bumped into the traveler and Charlotte en route, and we ended up chatting for a while. I mean, I'm working as Lenny's temporary assistant in the investigation of the Phantom. Thank you. It's good to have you helping. So, what's the situation? Have you seen Gemma? Nope. I've been here a All while, right. and she still Guys. hasn't shown yeah, up. Yeah. Okay. Basically, this oh, thing's really confusing me because. Maybe it was uh, bad intel. Well. Okay. I'm still. I'm still reading the question. Okay. Mm. Paimon, let's go ask. Yeah. So basically, in the first uh, Archon Quest, we leave. Uh, yeah, we leave uh, Lenny and Lynette alone with a bad term with with with, with, a, with a very cold uh aura between us and it makes us awkward i feel bad though excuse me good sir and do you by any chance know uh Gemma? without any conversation or anything uh Gemma? without any saying Caesar or, or whatever sure it is idea. what's this about uh, me and Lynette, uh, Aether and Lynette, I mean, uh, Lini, Lini, suddenly just, just yeah, here, here, in, in, this, in, this, in this story quest. I heard she comes here feels like there's nothing wrong with that, with them. Yeah, They're just like does. pretending uh, that everything's okay, we are cool, we're chill, right? No and as, I, as I've Sorry. said before, it's weird to Ever see that uh, the first, the first sentence the only sentence that uh, Aether said to Lynette is, Often she just where did it go? Where, where did it go? <laughs> I don't know. She to herself. I asked her what she was doing once. She said she wanted to speak to him again. She knows he's gone and can't hear her from the grave, but she just likes to spend time there, telling her fiancé all about how her life is going. And she's been doing this ever since Caesar passed away? Ten years? Oh. I'll bet. Caesar's reputation fell apart after his identity was revealed, so... No one else. I don't yeah, know. Jimmy lives the on fiance, in the waters the fiance, after death, of but course, uh, if it does, I'm sister sure in love with him. must be grateful to have someone who remembers him. If I'm honest, I think this is all so unfair to poor Gemma. 
Her fiance was a low life crook. He doesn't deserve someone like her. Anyway, Perhaps. all of that said, she's running later than usual today. Normally, she'd be sitting in front of his grave by now. I wonder if she's okay. I well, wonder. that's everything I know, I'm afraid. I Might wonder more luck how some other people. I wonder why. All right, well, thanks for sharing all of this with us. We'll keep asking around. You're welcome. I just hope she'll be able to. I can sing. I love to sing. I love. I, I really love to sing. But Did you in, hear the news? in, in streaming or in video YouTube's, I can't sing. You're kidding. I mean, yeah, Wait, I can't sing. <laughs> I can't sing for the for anymore. fact. But All for the other fact is, uh, I, I try to prevent I it from. Uh, I, I try to prevent my video from getting copyright. But what if? Just hypothetically, I mean, what if this weasel's the real deal and Caesar Ooh. was Frank? Called it. Seriously, ten years ago, on the day it all went down, I said to myself, you know what? This guy's been set up. Oh really? The Caesar I knew was a good guy. Oh please, weren't you the one cursing his name to high heaven when the police announced the Why are you having a debate in front of a graveyard? Why? Did I say that? Hmm. I don't seem to recall. Sorry to interrupt, Hello guys. There. Sorry for disturbing you, but I couldn't help but notice you were discussing the Phantom Weasel. We're actually quite interested in this topic as well, but we're struggling to get to the bottom of it. Do you think you could spare a moment to tell us a little bit about Caesar? You've come oh, sure, to the right sure. people. Yep. I was there. Back when Caesar used to perform, he was a great magician. The best trick I ever saw him do was pop a transparent balloon, only for a whole bunch of doves to fly out from the inside. What? <laughs> a transparent balloon? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. It's still, it's still colored. Okay. I, right I thought it's didn't pure, blink pure, pure blank. Like, but for the life of me, you're seeing nothing, and then you pop the, the air, and then there's a pigeon. Really? <laughs> fly out. I don't know. <laughs> I saw him perform too. He always used to bring some gifts along for the kids who came to watch his show, okay. and he'd hand them out after he was done. Sometimes he even got the kids to write their wishes down, and then he'd make the items on the wish list appear in his next show. Oh, okay. Ah, I want a PlayStation Five. Bad guy. But after he died, you there were also rumors that me? he used the wish list to find out what was precious to people, with the intent to steal it later. Huh? As I'm oh, sure we, now, oh, the oh, Phantom Weasel would that's steal a plot twist? just about anything from anyone. Whatever the case, so, now that the Phantom weasel, weasel is back, would like Caesar's to steal my position once more. Well, I just take it because I don't have it. <laughs> if Caesar's name gets cleared, maybe they'll finally give her some solace after all this time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, speak of the devil. That's her over there. How if do you got any more questions about Caesar? How do you say that's definitely the one to ask? Her? So that's Gemma. Uh, is it just Paimon, or does it look like something's wrong? Wait, she's in grief. It looks like she's injured. She's in grief. Come on, let's see. She's okay. How do you know if she's injured? There's no blood on her. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He got, she got, she got I a bandage on her hand. You're Gemma, right? Are you Gemma sixty six? Huh. Who's asking? <laughs> Don't be afraid. We mean no harm. Well, it's not already. It looks and like you're injured. Normally, How people won't go to graveyard for your concern. at night, right? But you didn't answer my question. Who are you, and what do you want with me? My name is Linny, and this is my sister Lynette. All right. My name's Paimon, and this here's the Traveler. We're investigating the Phantom Weasel. The weasel it's quite rude though, for, this morning. for Aether to not introduce himself. That means that Caesar was I am Aether, I am... Yeah, I just stay, say his name, you I am Trevor. He's just willing, keeping on quiet. We'd love to hear what you think about all this. <sighs> I promise you can trust us. We won't hurt you. In fact, we'll do all we can to keep you safe. I... I never believed that he was the weasel. Me too. Because huh. I never knew I him anyway. As much. Okay, so going back ten years, do you remember anything strange in the weeks leading up to the accident? Nope. No. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I knew him. Got it. All right. Sorry for disturbing you. If you don't have any more questions, please leave. 
They don't feel alone suddenly strange. They're not, they're not says, hmm. Hmm. Judging by the look on her face, there's definitely something fishy about her. She's lying. She definitely knows something. That's fair. Yeah. We're just a bunch we, yeah, of strangers we're just who showed stranger. up and started questioning her about things that happened a whole decade ago. It makes sense that she'd be wary around us. Obviously. In any case, I doubt we'll get any further here, so let's call it a day. Meet me outside Hotel de Boer tomorrow, Hotel and de we'll start the next step of our plan. Hotel de Boer. Are you getting bored? Come to the Hotel de Boer. Uh... Yeah, it's night already, so yeah. Oh, we have to go to the board also. Okay, not just changing time, but we need to meet them on the board. Rendezvous! Rendezvous! The magician's secret. Every magician have their own secret. Stay silent, guys. Keep your mouth shut. Over here. Right, coming. Well, I'm coming with my uh, slow walking pace. I've had her follow Gemma and see if we can make any inroads with her. You just, <laughs> you just treating your sister as your servant. How Still, cool, Chilini. I don't think that Gemma's likely to open up to us. <sighs> So, we need a contingency plan. Uh, where should we start? Today, we'll be looking into a guy named Lorenzo, okay. Caesar's former pupil and assistant. Oh. When Caesar passed away, all the stolen goods discovered in his home were confiscated and returned to their rightful owners. But Lorenzo was the only one before long. It's so, Lorenzo oh, was so the he's the real deal. That's how he's the real deal then. His fame surpassing even that all of the evidence are found in his house, well. in, in, in Caesar's house. Strings, but I managed to get him to agree to a couple of drinks with me. Oh, be warned wow. though, I hear he's got a hair triggered temper. Wow. We'd best be careful. I have I have a hair hair temper hair hair trigger temper. <laughs> I have a hair 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 line trigger temper <laughs> also. No lah, not 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 as thin as a hair lah. Uh, but yeah, I do get emotional sometimes. I mean, uh, in a sad way, I get I'm easily get emotional for some things that uh, is sad, uh, pitiful, or uh, saddening. You neglected to mention that you were bringing two other people with you. Oh well, well, well. My I'm apologies. sorry. These two are my assistants. When they heard that I was meeting with the former magic maestro himself, they begged and pleaded with me to bring them along. Oh, please, um, bring me, bring me. It's no trouble. A couple of autographs yeah. would really make their day. Look into my eyes. I'm so excited to see you. the pleasantries. Just sit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have to, we have to act, guys. We have to get our face, uh... We have to keep our expression uh, the true says, to the word. He looks pretty happy about Linny stroking his ego. I only agreed I to meet since we're both magicians. Do me a favor and cut to the chase. I have more important things to do than drinking. Much obliged, sir. As it happens, the matter I want to address is also related to magic. Yesterday morning, a warning letter from the Phantom Weasel appeared on the entrance to the Opera House. Right. He I have to get to the bottom of this to ensure that my show can go ahead as planned. Naturally, any investigation into the Weasel starts with a few questions about Caesar, who... What is there to investigate? What is there to investigate? Huh? Caesar was huh? the Weasel and he's been dead for ten years. So what if some sick creep thought it'd be funny to write a warning letter? It changes nothing. Please, sir, no need to get so worked oh, up. Guys, I should I stand up for it? Uh, stand up also? Should I stand up too? Possibility I can stand up too, fact, if you want to. Look, my but I was already flying. I was still flying there. <laughs> the weasel is dead. Period. Period. Everyone knows that, so do yourself a favor and quit this investigation. It'll lead you nowhere. Oh, oh you want to compensate the loss? Really? Sure, well, this then. This isn't about finances for me. 
Uh... My pride as a magician is what's at stake here, Lorenzo. Copycat or not, this person has thrown me the gauntlet, and I must meet their challenge head on. Your pride? <laughs> Don't mince words <laughs> Your with pride. me, boy. Just tell me what exactly are you seeking to do? I want to find out the Phantom Weasel's true identity. What would that accomplish? And what do the events of ten years ago have to do with you, anyway? Look, you of all people should know that a magician yep, never reveals their secrets. And in any case... <laughs> that man don't, don't talk. talk. <laughs> so if you really care right, about... Right, right, right. Uh, Let's move on. This is getting up. Renzo? Is that... Oh, it is you! <laughs> it is you! Should I stand up also? Like, if you want standing up. Voice anywhere. Oh, look! The chef is actually a robot. You wanna grab a drink with me? The chef, the, the chef is actually a robot there. Look, look, look. Another day, I'm busy. <laughs> oh, come on, you can't be all business all the time. You know what they say? Live fast, you die young. You know what they say? Live fast, die young. <laughs> die. You gotta learn how to kick back and relax once in a while. Die. If I wanted your life advice, I'd ask for it. Now get out of my face and go be drunk somewhere else. Sorry, my good sir. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Oh, hey. Who's Edmondo? Who's Edmondo? Um, Edmondo. Ah, Mrs. Paul. and I are business pals. We w this is your first time meeting It's him? always like this. Full mouth and it's hard nose. Like this. Foul mouth and hard it's nose. Love, Never. Huh? Heard a kind word oh, yeah. of you should you should change bro. You want if you want a girlfriend, despite being change your attitude, bro. Every time I'm saying something, it's it's pretty fun. It's, it's pretty excited for me. To, every time I'm saying something, the, the character also said the same thing as me. And get out of my face. Another so word out of this? you, and you can forget about doing business with me ever again. Do I make myself clear? Oh, chill, bro. Chill, bro. Oh, it... <laughs> uh, sorry, I may have had a little too much to drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 drink. Uh, 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 Alright, I'm gonna leave. Hard. Doesn't work too hard. <laughs> Chillax, bro. I think it's high time I made a move as well. If you really want to investigate this, Linny, be my guest. What's the sudden change? I thought they don't want to help us. But if nothing good comes of it, don't say I didn't warn you. Where are you taking us? Feels weird. Well, that fell to pieces in a rather spectacular fashion. Any thoughts? There's something strange about him. Well, that's good, right? Not Gemma. Not like Gemma. I think everyone's suspicious for you. Look into Lorenzo more closely. That guy Edmondo seems to know a thing or two about him. He only just left. Let's see if we can catch up with him. All right, let's go, guys. Let's get him. Edmondo, Edmondo, wait for us. We want your signature. We want to take a photo with you. We want to, we want to hug you. We want to, uh, we want to ask for money. Mora, give us some Mora. I thought this is Mondo. <laughs> I'm shocked. It's a girl. <laughs> hey, Edmondo, what's up? <laughs> hey, 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 bro, you okay, bro? You okay there? You okay there? <laughs> uh, who are you? Oh, it's you guys. Don't worry about, worry about me. me. I must have had one too many. Uh, right, I right. way understandable. too much back there, didn't I? Yeah, I nearly talked myself into complete financial ruin. What? <laughs> Note to self, no more drunken chats when Lorenzo's around. But if you're done, you don't know what you're saying then. Are you right? not threatening to cut you off? Paimon knew he was a bad egg. Hey, 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 keep your, keep your voice down. Yeah, Paimon, shut it. into Lorenzo's personal affairs. <laughs> bad things happen to people who ask too many questions. Whoa. What kind of bad things? Don't even What even? What even Lorenzo I'm doing? Uh, I'm going to have to cut this conversation short. I'm not crossing that line again. And take it from me. Trouble with Lorenzo is one thing you don't need in your life. You some flare up back there. I don't know what. That's not a good sign. You're too young for this. Yeah, what what for happened? This. 
don't get in over your head. I'm leaving. Uh, all right, you don't want to get a drink with me? Uh, I can uh, give you medicine. Some medicines. And What do we do now, Lenny? Shh. I think we're being watched. Oh! Someone was listening in to our whole conversation. Oh! Don't say anything and don't look back. Any altercation in the city will attract the guards. We better take this elsewhere. All right. It looks like from the Rosia do Fondola. <laughs> Adventure time. Uh, what? What's the, what's the organization name? Uh, something about yeah yeah from uh, the Nafias group right I think uh, he is from uh, Nafias group you guys know Nafia right Nafia is the one who's from that group <laughs> Upon the yeah just remember that it's a group right not a boy band no it's just a group independent group hmm you followed us a long way. Why don't you come out and introduce yourselves? Yo, all right, we're gonna. So you're Lynn. Ass. Ass, your I mean. sister? Ain't she with you today? Save us the trouble and go fetch her for us. What? Smooth Let's not drag Pacino. this out. Hyman doesn't like the tone of your voice, Mister. Who sent you, huh? Save your questions. Paint of the needle. <laughs> you ain't gonna need answers where you're going. Capiche? <sighs> Peace. Looks like we can't avoid this fight. Now, I'm not the strongest fighter, so I hope you're ready to back me up. Don't worry, we got this! Well, yeah, we got this. Oh, we can use Lini then. Let's go! Wait, 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 wait. Guys, stop. stop, stop. Uh, we go. I don't know how to use Lini yet. Uh, as I remember, I should use it like this, and then Step right this, up. and then there. At least, uh, wait. Give me... Alright, uh, if I kill all of them now, Gather. will there be another guy showing up? <laughs> that will be a waste though. I want to use my, uh, yo, Tukas. Wait, can I summon Tukas? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No! Curses. I was just charging Something my burst! Obviously. Vision wielders are always trouble. Intimidation ain't gonna work like it did on the lady. Who's Come lady? on, lady, let's huh? scram! Oh, Cesar's fiance. Cesar's fiance getting threatened. Did you catch what they said just before they left? Sounds like they just wanted to rough us up as a No, no, no. It's Gemma. Yeah, it's Gemma. You're right. She was injured. Maybe she was too scared to tell us. Well, if that's the case, let's head back to the cafe and see if we can get it. I thought we were going to the graveyard, because the last time we are going on her is <laughs> it's at the graveyard, right? <laughs> oh, my rest is almost full also. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not gonna uh, farm the artifacts in this, in this video, but... But... No buts. <laughs> This video is about me trying to get Liney. Lini. I keep on I keep on calling him Liney because I think Liney suits him better. Liney. Hey Liney, what's up Liney? Oh she already How did not how? Hmm. hmm. Gemma? I thought you guys are making progress. Gemma, you okay? Gemma? You again. What is it this time? We just ran into the men who've been threatening you, and we gave them a taste of their own medicine, so you can relax now. We're here to protect you. What? Why? <laughs> Sounds like they're no strangers to you. Huh. Huh. That's putting it mildly. I know them all too well, and I hate Yo, them with every fiber of my being. It's been ten Poor grandma. years. <laughs> Is she grandma? Every time Poor I try to look into Caesar's death, they show up and warn me not to do anything stupid. What? what? How do I know I can trust you? Yeah. Do you really for, think you can She looks like an old people, and for an old people, she and looks young. Why are you her doing Her facial this? expression, her makeup, makeups. Yeah, sure. Make us make everyone's young. 
I'm afraid I can't reveal all the details just yet. Yeah, we are magicians. Magicians should keep our secret. I will expose the Phantom Weasel's true identity. I will expose the Phantom Weasel. This is a personal matter of the utmost importance. Okay. I've heard that Caesar used to have a magic workshop where he kept a lot of his person. Do you know where the Fluvisonde? But Fluvisonde. the place was sealed up by the police after. How, how do you say that? Fluv no one's Fluvisonde. been there since. I also know that the Fluvisonde is dangerous territory. Fluvisonde is dangerous. Lots of hostile Fluvisonde. groups lurking around. Fluvisonde. If you're serious about going Fluvisonde. there, please be careful. Understood. Is it? Lynette, this is Italian, right? This should be Italian. Gemma. Don't let her come to harm. <sighs> Got it. But if I'm staying here, I'm ordering dessert. Yeah, sure, sure. I sure. mean, bon appetit. Bon appetit. But stay sharp too. They're likely to come. I have a friend who's Italian. He is. Okay. Yeah, he is. He is. He is. Right. Power saving mode off. Yeah, he's he's I'll a chef, a pizza soon. chef. I love his pizza very much. Uh, his pizza is the best pizza that I've ever had. Uh, in my country or even i think yeah in my whole life my friends uh all of my friends acknowledge his pizza also his pizza is magnificent like magnifico Mag <laughs> <Magnificent. laughs> where are we going magnificent magnifico right magnifico right in Italian, it should be Magnifico or Extra for God. Where are we? Wait, what? Oh, this whole under underworld thing keeps on. Uh, wait. Wait, I'm gonna jump. Oh. I thought, I thought I was a dead guy there. <laughs> the wind rises. Yeah, magnificito. Magnifito. It's it's Goriamo. Is that even a word? <laughs> yeah, his pizza is the best. You should if try. Gemma gave us the right location, I'm not, I'm not saying the though, I'm not right anyone. <laughs> Looks like these boxes are blocking the entrance. Let's You help Lini move the box aside. There we go. It should be just down here. Oh, there's oh, there's a secret hole there. Ah, so we are nearing the ending, right? All right. Basically, his team uh, for uh, Lini, we're gonna need uh, as many pyro as we can. No, I don't want to use this team. Hmm. Ah, just this team is fine now. Yeah, as many pirates uh, we can in the team, because uh, as I remember, if I remember correctly, Lini, if there are three, yeah, maximum is three, 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 three pyro guy, girl also <laughs> in the team, you will get extra damage or something. Hey, I'm stuck. Don't worry not, I have a wanderer with me. Huh. Quit following me. For <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's see. What's what does he do? All right. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Want to stick next operate? If any cost have HP when firing off a prop arrow, the green one can summon another wheel upon hitting a certain energy. Oh. Okay. Let me still play sixty percent. See, yeah, see, a spiral party member other than Lini will cause the damage deal to increase by an additional twenty percent, maximum of one hundred percent. Jump, jump, jump! Wait, wait, wait! I haven't seen, I haven't, I haven't checked the place yet. I don't want to miss. I don't want to. I don't want to miss the any, any treasure here. Are we moving? Okay. So this was Caesar's workshop. In the spy. Hmm. Ah, ah, the power Nothing of the animal. Here, just normal magic props. Let's head in further. Let's head in further. Oh. What was that? Oh. <laughs> Is this one of Caesar's gadgets? 
<laughs> I'm surprised. Take the Pokemon Nipple out. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, let me see. I think. I think uh, I have. Oh, yeah, see? Lenny can have two Green Malkin has present at once. Additional prop will summon. Oh! Once every 15 seconds, alright. When Lenny is on the field, he will gain a stack of his focus every 2 seconds. His stack will increase his crit damage by 30%. this I haven't fight this robot yet new entry and voila and voila let's light it up I miss it oh that, that's a problem <laughs> I'm sorry guys right 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 uh again with this combo and then now this disappear. Robot, this. See, the damage is shocking. Yeah, basically, when. Look! The door. The doll in the box is glowing! Why? It's uh, one minute left and uh, it's almost resetting. Uh, the software will be reset. There's something written on the card on this doll! Card? I'm gonna buckle a fried chicken that never runs out? What? Oh! Wishlist! Oh! And here we go. We start again. Alright. So there's a wishlist here. I'd like a little dove. I want a robot with cool. I <laughs> want a Power Ranger? Or do you want a uh, Ultraman? I'm a fluffy. You want Luffy? Korewa <laughs> Naru! <laughs> Only you guys who watch the best I don't know, not the best that. For me the best is still for Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. But for one of my best personal favorite, yeah, One Piece is one of my personal favorite. Start. Jump, jump. It's weird that I haven't uh, see any chest yet. Door of Resurrection, uh, Resurrection activated. Yeah, this should be a chest somewhere, right? Looks like we've reached the end of this route. All right, yeah, Shall yeah, Paimon, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Paimon. I'm just trying to check for chest like this. Is it chest? No. Hi guys, what's this? Uh, these magic boxes are moving. What do we do? One of them looks different from the rest. Let's investigate. This one, right? Ha, ha. Ha ha! I knew it. I knew it. Ha ha ha! You thought you can get away from me, huh? Oh, another entrance there. Wait, let me check there first. Let's go, guys. Under here. Fine, sure. Uh huh. Nothing to see here. Take it easy. What? What's with all these books? What's this? Oh. Okay, sir. Can you stay with? Let's talk with. Okay. Well, I want to see all the wish here. Like I, I want to know what are the these kids wishing for. Oh, so sad. Oh no. I don't know that you can always share a house with me, you know, but how is need of your need more of your hard work, alright? Behold. Behold. Wait what? There's not a wish here that I haven't right? 
Oh, already. This is about Caesars, and the other one is about uh, the, their families. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Too slow. Come on, give me a chest. I need more. Wait, did I push my table? Accidentally. I hope not. Hello! That's weird. <laughs> Anyone here? There's nothing here. No, no. Maybe magician always keep the trip. secret tight. This place seems a little too ordinary for a magician's workshop. We've triggered quite a few devices on the way here. Hmm. I'm s if so, then there must be more to this place than meets the eye. Maybe a hidden room somewhere. There should be. Aha! If I just move this book, then hopefully... And... Presto! Presto. Presto... Presto in my language is uh, if you press, uh, press a chicken and yeah you cook the chicken while you press it so hard <laughs> I'm a magician too yeah. and apparently yeah, great think, minds really do wait, think alike there, yeah chicken presto yeah yeah presto is <laughs> I was wondering take a look around. oh this chest I found a chest I found myself a chest let's go finally after Let's go after we've been wandering for so long. We finally Don't got the chest. Me. Don't follow me. Don't not. Oh man, stop with the robot, guys. Oh, Stay finally, right. I can try this. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Yes, then. Wait, oh, okay. He's not Yelan. <laughs> he needs to charge his uh, arrow. But look, the damage is pretty big, right? He does a lot of damage. Finally, another chest. Did I miss some chest uh, downstairs? I hope not. Lini deals a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, and we can use him, use him for a, a mono pyro team. So I think, uh, of course, Dehia, if you guys remember Dehia. <laughs> She will be useful here, I think. I I don't know, I don't know. Perhaps. <gasps> guys, hello. Wait, you guys you guys wanna attack me? If not then I'll spare you guys. Oh you, you wanna attack me, huh? You wanna attack me, huh? How dare you, huh? How dare you? <laughs> I'm the one who's attacking them first. How can I say that? See? Twenty five at the 7,000, right? Solidify. It's a good chunk of damage. Let's light it up. Gotcha. Oh, wait, what? Sin? This is the place to swap people. Like is in this your like Arkham quest. Huh. It just looks familiar somehow. Let me check this out for a second while you guys go on ahead. If anyone Why? makes a major discovery, and let's... All right, see you. Let's earn a few here. The placement of this device inside. If I remember correctly, then I can swap with someone. There will be a tunnel, like how my trick is done. Yeah, that's Linus trick, alright. Not mine. The wind rises. Linus trick is like that. Linus trick is Linus trick. <laughs> Linus is trick. <laughs> yeah, from the first Arkham quest, yeah, it's like that. Alright. Uh huh. W what? Ah, oh, easy. Alright, alright. Huh. <laughs> Let me try again. Let me try again. Okay, okay. It's an accident, guys. It's an accident. Wait, wait. Let me, let me, let me think. With my, with my power. Uh huh. There, there. Uh huh, uh huh. Wait. If I go there and there. If I go there, 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 there. Uh huh. 
Oh, what? Relax. Well, I still need to get to go to the end of it, right? So basically, I still need to do this. It's not going there, so I can go from there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so stupid. Right. All right. Take me home. Ta -da. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I, th I thought I messed up. I thought I messed. <coughs> I thought I messed up. Wait. Am I messing? Oh. Another puzzle? Oh, I thought there's another puzzle there. Oh, we op oh we opened something. We open another secret chamber. Another so chamber here. of secret. Wow. There's a hidden room here. Yeah, there's another Let's room here. See. Oh, this bookcase is full of Caesar's own notes. Where? Which, he wrote which? a lot about the principles there? of magic. Whew. Much too advanced for pie mine. Yo. <gasps> hey, look! Is that Caesar's diary on the table? Alright, no chest, no chest. I think I'm. This I'm more focused on break. finding chests and primo gems. Let's take a peek inside it, shall we? Oh, shall we? We shall. Oh, but oh, 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 but oh, oh, there. Okay, first oh, thing first about the wish list. Few days ago, a child asked me how I pulled candy out of my hat as a joke. I told the kid that the hat has a. I read this as a bullshit. I told the kid that the hat is a, has a bullshit. Today, a whole bunch of kids. Bullshit whiskey thing. All sorts of things out of the hat. So I told them another white lie. The machine needs time to power up, but in the meantime, you can write your wishes down. I wound up saving very little this month. That's not a major issue. I like when you hide all this. I know. But children study magic. Two children came to talk to me after right. today's show. I don't know why they were out on their own. Sorry. They looked I do. much too young to be unsupervised. Wait, is this Lini and Lina? Anyway, they said that they wanted me to teach them how to do magic. <gasps> it's not uncommon for children to ask this, of course. Is he? I told them that learning magic is very hard work. But that didn't faze them at all. In the first Arkham Quest, Lini told us that uh, he learned his Seems magic like from some guy. Lorenzo a guy. From a guy, yeah. Me about it. Surely Is it not Lorenzo? That I agreed to teach those two children. I'll have to talk. I have a good feeling about those kids. Oh. They're naturally talented. And it seems like they're not. They have all sorts of fantastic ideas. They wanted to call me master, okay, but I told them they absolutely mustn't. Any magician worth their salt could have taught them what I have. With time, I have no doubt Whoa, that they could become far pretty. greater magicians than I. Gemma thinks so too. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like being around them. Says that their eyes are too piercing. Uh huh. They don't bother me, but then again. I've never been the sharpest tool in the shed. Okay. It's nearly time for me to go on tour. I, I once overheard mm -hmm. them talking about their father and their Yeah. Like Lorenzo the is the of teacher of Linea Linet. Oh. I guess we'll be so that's why soon. It's only been 10 days since I first met them. It's only 10 days. But what? I think that I've gotten a feel they're very tough, but I'm also cautious. very cautious. And they trust no one but right. each other. They hide things from me too. For example, that's the thing about children. What? Whenever they Wait, say oh, that somehow. their lives have been hard, possibly even dangerous too. Oh, After no. thinking things over, I decided to tell them a bit so about how I see the world. It's full of lies and false. P.S. I, I hope they <laughs> won't find my nagging annoying. Children are so opinionated. Oh, no. PPS. PPS. <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking this. Children aren't interested in grand philosophies. Oh, oh. Caesar, Caesar. No, there's a mosquito Just in my room. Mind your own business next time. Ah. Two magic geniuses with a father and a See, I taught you. I taught you from the beginning. 
sounds a lot like he was writing about Linny and True, Nick, true, and true. I told you. So did they meet Caesar when they were kids? Let's go ask Linny. There's a mosquito in my room. I hate mosquitoes a lot. And I... I... I strictly... Try to keep my... Uh, room safe from mosquitoes. But it seems like there's still one or two that's coming in. Linny, hold that thought. As I expected, fishy. All in good time. Before we go over our first, the magician slots themselves into a magic box in full view of the audience. The box is then suspended high in the air, and a short while later, at this point, a dummy will fall out of the box. But it looks real enough to uh -huh. grab the audience's attention, and they start right. wailing uh, and we screaming. Have something Else to tell Meanwhile, you more important. The real magician, who has by now blended into the crowd, waits for a good moment to make their appearance and put on a hysterical performance. Oh no! Is that me? Did I just fall to my death? Very vivid description. Paimon can really pay The audience's gaze then uh -huh. turns to the magician. And by the time they realize what's happened, the dummy... Oh. Of course, that's just how I think the process should work. Theor the inventor of this trick never performed it successfully. When the box opened, Caesar was the one who fell out, and not the dummy. He fell right to the ground from the highest point of the opera house. <sighs> no one could hope to survive that fall. Not without a vision, at least. And no one else has ever attempted this trick since. My understanding of how it works is just based on what I could gather from his notes and the relevant. So Caesar's famous high altitude escape has never been done, huh? Paimon was about to say how cool it would have been to see it in person, but what? if it's that dangerous, it's wait a second. So if a dummy is supposed to drop out of the box, then glad you asked. That brings us. This box right here is the one that Caesar constructed himself to use in the performance. Once the magician's inside and the box is lifted up into the air, the audience's view of, from where they're standing, they have a clear view of the front, sides, and bottom. But the so back and the top Lorenzo are now no died. longer visible. Miserably. At this point, the magician presses a button inside the box, opening a secret door out of view. He then escapes through this trap door onto the opera house roof, waits for the dummy to fall and distract the audience, and quietly returns to ground level. That's way simpler than Paimon imagined. <laughs> you, well, huh? there's a little more to it than that, of course. The hardest part of there's the falling dummy, the miraculous reappearance, the pompous performing. Maybe the magician would even have themselves tied up before it begins to strengthen the impression that there's no escape. Many days and nights of careful research and painstaking practice would have gone into this, oh. all culminating in a performance just a few minutes long. But Caesar was a highly accomplished magician. So, how Probably. did it go so yeah. wrong? You said you found some fishy stuff here. Have you figured out what really happened? Yeah, have you figured out? Maybe? I can make a pretty good guess. I looked into the case files. The magic box Caesar was using at the time of his death had the secret button I mentioned positioned on the right-hand side. Uh -huh. Okay. But here's the strange thing. Most of the devices in this workshop have the mechanism on the left-hand side, including this box right here. Which leads me to believe that Caesar was in fact left because a magician can't afford to have their most basic habits stand out too much. All right. People naturally focus their attention on the most important details of the task or situation at hand. But a magician needs to be able to redirect an audience's attention at will, so as to avoid arousing their suspicion. The okay. essence of magic is getting people to believe a lie. If even the truth raises eyebrows, the falsehoods become all the more difficult to mask. And so, Caesar trained himself to use his right hand to align with his audience's expectations. Great magic always required, but in his okay. most stressful and nerve-wracking moments, and when no one was yeah, watching, reflex would kick in, and he'd use his left hand. That exactly, I think that's likely what happened. Uh -huh. Caesar so would have I, I still, I still trying to get what he's saying. He'd have had mere seconds to open the hidden compartment, retrieve the dummy, then open the secret door and make a swift escape. But I'm sure he was confident. He would have rehearsed countless times to the point where it was second nature. Uh -huh. He'd barely need to think about what he was doing because muscle memory would guide him through. True. So he true, opened the compartment, took out the dummy, checked everything was in order, 
and then went to leave. With his left hand, he reached for the button, and suddenly, his heart skipped a beat. It wasn't there. Much like when you reach for your keys but find your pocket empty, his mind needed a moment. Instinctively, his left hand would keep feeling around for the missing button, maybe for another second or two, until the bottom of the box gave way. With the stakes being as high as they were, just a two-second delay cost him everything. The authorities would find nothing oh. in the area. Someone switched the box, but how would they be able to make the switch without being noticed? It would have to have been someone who knew that he was left-handed and who could move his props around. Gemma? Causing suspicion. Isn't that right? Oh, Lorenzo. <laughs> Just Lorenzo. Sleeping dogs a lot. I thought it was his fiance. I magician who died 10 years ago. I didn't want to have to do this, you know. Silent well, you, uh, you, you know what? I, you, uh, I hope you do what's good for you and back off like the lady. Known, but uh, the floor is here. Gemma? So you are the one who's been threatening her. Yes, although however stubborn she might be, she was never much of a liar, which is why you can't leave this place. <laughs> do your worst. Yeah, come, come to me. You guys, come to me. I'll make you all regret for treating, for killing. Oh, I can kill right now. And voila! Done. Oh, wait, what's this? Solidify. I'm going in. Wait. Let's get this show on the road. Now disappear. Done? Done already? Now disappear! I always love people uh, defeating some people. Uh, I mean, you kids are how you they beat people with cards. Like, you know, if uh, you know Hisoka, Hisoka in Hunter Had Hunter. Enough yet, Lorenzo? Your cronies can't help you now. I think it's high time you started talking. And what I'd really like to know is. Why did you murder Caesar? Yeah, why did you murder Caesar? Yeah, he's a good guy. For every time you said that man's name. Of course you idolized Caesar. Everyone else did. He what? was just an amateur who did cheap tricks for gullible children. I was the one who made magic into the fine art it is today. So it was jealous. <laughs> Jealousy. Hatred, more like. I hate it. Poured everything Why? into his street performances and his stupid tours like it was just Cause, a hobby. Because it's a hobby for him. Never bothering to think about Mora. But the people loved him, didn't they? Oh, how they looked up to him. Yeah, and people hate you now. No one we hate you. Second. Amazing. Yeah, so amazing that he was completely broke. Every other apprentice was living it up at their master's expense, but no, not me. I, I put world. in all the work, mastered all the skills. He forbade so me from him? using magic to trick people out of their mora. There was, and with his reputation in Fontaine, it was too risky for me to go uh, alone. You... As long as he was alive, if I dab, I had to kill him. And this was your only motive? It was reason enough. What other motive? Well, I was under the impression that there might have been other factors at play. For instance, me... In love with Gemma. D don't be... I guess I was wrong about that then. <laughs> Next question. Are you the Phantom Weasel? I am. Ha. Caesar was... So strict with me. I never bought into any of that. What was that I was more right. interested in the practical value of me. Oh, yeah! Charlotte told us that the we That's just how it looked from the outside. What would any thief want with second I stole cheap things as a way of practicing <laughs> my craft? <laughs> All right. <laughs> it was other people's overactive imaginations that caught... So, that's the story, huh? What, what choice do I have? You're a pack of wolves and you've got me between your... So be it. I've enjoyed power and wealth for the last 10 years. You just killed a guy. You just killed a master. Well. In that case, I'll contact the guards. Traveler, Paimon. Keep an eye on Lorenzo for... Uh, and you are leaving me with him? I haven't told him about the... 
Die, die, die. Okay. Can't talk with him. At least I can finally. <sighs> you. There's no, there's no cure for a bad guy, huh? I believe that there's a cure. I mean, well, it's just harder. Harder than the average people. <laughs> what do you, what do you expect me to say? <laughs> I believe every guy has a chance to repent, but. I mean, if the victims are demanding for uh, for a payment, or I mean, for yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you should, you should, you should get your punishment first. Then yeah, I mean, you should be responsible of what you've done, right? I'm still be wary about the mosquito. <laughs> I want to kill him. I want to kill it so much. Right, let's go. It's resetting. Oh, I believe my luck is super high right now. Lenny has told me the whole story. Hey, Lorenzo, Bruno. do you confess to the murder of Caesar and to fr <clears throat> <clears throat> Look who's fu- <clears throat> What kind of disciple murders the- Yeah, what kind of disciples murder their own master, huh? It was worth it. Because they'll be hell to pay. Huh. Huh. <sighs> 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 Looks like it's all over. What should we do next, Lenny? Should we start preparing? Huh. Let me think. Oh, so Lenny, do you Let's want to do Lina your Gemma uh, master with Lorenzo trick? in custody? Gemma will no longer have to fear for her safety. Good point. We should go. Guys, the surface resetting just now, and I'm almost done with this. Uh, with this quest, with the thing that I've been doing now. I believe I will win the win. I, I, I will I will win the fifty fifty. The rate off. Uh, I rarely get. I mean, in Genshin, yeah, in Genshin, I rarely get uh, the, the a five star character from uh, below seventy pool. Uh, you're back. You were so quick. I've only Hi, just you're back. That's gonna respond. Yeah, I rarely get. I always get it between seventy-five to eighty. I think I only get uh, a character, five-star character in my twenty pool, just just once in my whole life. But it's not real. My ID is quite lucky, and I'm and grateful for it. Sugar. That's besides the point. <sighs> well, it's done now. <laughs> but try to eat a more balanced diet in the future. <sighs> point taken. Point taken. Did everything I like I like her, I like Lynette though. I, I like her character. Of course. Lorenzo was no match for us. The guards are taking him into custody as we speak. Gosh, that's amazing. I'm sorry. I still didn't know if I could I yeah, you should have me my more. suspicions about Lorenzo. Remember the blonde traveler? Yeah. I... Remember the blonde traveler? <laughs> if you remember the blonde traveler, just uh, report it's everything okay. to the we blonde traveler. He did threaten you. But you don't need to be scared anymore. Sorry. So many Sorry. tears and crying My here in the emotions in are Fontaine. all over the place right now. I always wanted to report Lorenzo. He took all of Caesar's property, which I I was so afraid. I was scared he'd thank you all. Oh, okay. What? But why the cemetery though? Cemetery is the graveyard, right? Why, why, why graveyard? Though? Thank you all. For oh, the all to, name. to commemorate Caesar's death. All right, all right, all right. I never would have guessed that all right, Lorenzo all right. was the real phantom right. weasel. <laughs> my bad. Never showed any signs that they were my bad, uh, my bad. To think that low life's been living life to the fullest all this time, while Caesar, at least his soul, can finally rest in peace. <laughs> If only I don't blame yourself, Jenna. I wonder who realized it. This uh, isn't your fault. Yeah. Don't, you don't still feel have bad. the rest of your life to live. Hmm. There's, there's still so many Cheer fishes up, out there. I mean, so many mans out there. <laughs> My brother's doing a magic show at the opera house tomorrow evening. Would you like to come along? <laughs> you might raise your spirit. In, this show will be a special one. We're holding it in Caesar's honor. Oh, they're really gonna do in the Caesar's, Caesar's trick? Oh, great. We'll see you tomorrow evening. Traveler, Paimon, don't be late. Don't worry, we'll be there. No way are we gonna miss out on a free magic show. Wait, 
kind of feels like we're forgetting something. What? Are we? Oh, yeah, Caesar's diary! Yeah, we <laughs> It may take some time, but Caesar's yeah. reputation looks like Gemma chose a good man. Of course, you guys are. How, did, how could you guys say things I like that? I can't believe Gemma. Lorenzo was intimidating Lucesar. Gemma all this time. He comes around here sometimes. Not to clean Lucesar. Caesar's grave, though. She must have known. But she what? <laughs> Stalker? I've spoken many. I'm so ashamed of myself now. Yeah, you should be ashamed. Is this a teleport point there? Yeah. yeah, it should be. I mean, uh, is it the uh, second wonder world? Of yeah, yeah, yeah it is, it is. Alright, uh, wait, what? Oh, we have to wait till the next evening. That's it. I keep... <laughs> I'm used to... I'm used to... What? Uh, don't be late, so I, I'm gonna... Ah, I guess... I'm used to opening the... I'm pressing escape the, the menu button yeah to change the clock i i i used to uh, opening time from that a uh, menu but then uh, since last month my friend just told me that oh you can press tap and hold your mouse and drag it to the shortcut that you put and well it proves it proves very useful how to get here Oh, I can. Oh, I can do this. They put the fountain of Lushimi. I can just teleport to the fountain of Lushimi. Lushin. Lushin. Oh no! <laughs> I, <thought. laughs> I was searching for the. I was looking for the fountain. Where is the fountain? I thought we are teleporting to the fountain, but no. Oh, there, there are so many people here now. Typically, there's not much people here. Oh my gosh, I'm, I feel very lucky. I'm feeling very lucky. I'm feeling very, very lucky. I can't wait to get Lini. Too slow. Yeah, at first I don't really like uh, hit. I mean, a magician uh, using another another pyro character using arrow, for real, but. Well, he's good. What can I say? New play style for me. <laughs> I was excited to see another of Linny's magic shows. Wait, Linny? Uh, wait, Lynette, shouldn't you be on So Gemma will be the assistant? Not this time. My brother's going solo today. Solo? So I'll be watching with you. What? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everybody's ready because the show is about to begin. The thank great you, magician Linny has prepared a spectacular show for us all tonight, concluding with an all-new grand finale that no audience has ever seen before. Wow. Thank you all so much for coming. Now, prepare to join me on a journey through the mystical and miraculous. I mean, the box was the audience. <laughs> I mean, the box uh, where Cesar want to use uh, for his trick is ten years old already. Right. Yes, it's it should be. Uh, I mean, there, I there, there must be an, a flaws too. there, right? Some flaws, of course. So, uh, hmm? Well, children love magic, because and somehow, I. Aww, how can they have a conversation in this with a flower. silent place? He took it in his hand, snapped it. <laughs> I was so happy that. Oh, that's, oh, that's so cute. cute. That's so cute. Actually, Actually not that, that now that you mention it, Linny's done, done that one before. <laughs> Is that right? A magician's then trick, huh? I suppose he's a romantic at heart. Just after all, you never know when the people Don't do it. That's right. Um, Paimon doesn't really know yeah. how to comfort you. Right. Yes, you can breathe easy now, Phantom Weasel. What? See, even Lynette says. Wait, what? 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 The Phantom Weasel? Lorenzo escaped? Where is he? I 
had the first. I said it first, right? I said Gemma is the. I I said Gemma is the the Phantom Weasel. What do you mean, Phantom Weasel? I've said it before. As Lenny once said, a performer's job is to commit fully to their role and put on a flawless performance for their audience. Oh, do you see, do you see, guys, Charlotte's there. Charlotte's there. Look, Charlotte's there. I see Charlotte's there. <laughs> you think you can fool me, Genshin? Huh? But once the bag of tricks is empty and the curtain falls, it's time to end the show. The spotlight is no place for someone with no more cards up their sleeve. What? It's been ten years, Gemma. Aren't you tired of the grieving widow act? I think it's time what? to put an end to it. What are you talking about? Traveler Pana doesn't like where this Shut is up, Aimon! Come on, say something! <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all enjoying the perform- There will now be a brief what? intermission, after which Linny will perform the most electrifying act of tonight's show. The one we've all been waiting for. The final performance will take place outside of the opera house. What? So please make your way outside in a calm and orderly fashion. The Phantom Weasel never did like public places. <laughs> Don't worry. This place will be quiet soon. Let's talk somewhere else for now. Yeah, this Charlotte, see? This Charlotte there. I forgot to show you. I just realized it. <laughs> also, when uh, I, I tried to skip everything. You, Phantom Weasel? How? How dare you? But I still don't know the reason why though. It's just my instinct. <laughs> if Gemma is the Phantom Weasel. Stop the act. Dear me, this is awkward, isn't it? What? And unfortunately, I'm all out of gadgets. So I'm afraid I can't do any tricks to liven up. This is a big mistake for a magician to make. But... What? Why not accuse Gemma of being the real Phantom Weasel? All in good time. Magicians are good at guessing what people are thinking. I know the questions you want to ask. Okay. And as it happens, the story I'm about to tell might... Really? Well then... Let's go back to the very beginning. What? A decade ago, when the Has Phantom the Weasel done? was terrorizing the Court of Fontaine. She never missed a target, never left a trace, and no treasure was safe from her thieving hands. A decade ago. But as her infamy grew, so did the readiness of the police, and her opportunities to act became ever fewer. Mm -hmm. Every day she ran the risk of being exposed for who she was. Of course, she could not simply take this lying down, and before long she found her ticket to freedom. She would create a scapegoat, a false weasel to close the chapter on her behalf. After weighing her options, she set her sights on a renowned magician, Caesar. After all, magic and theft shared enough similar. So, so then what? Being the master deceiver she was, the weasel easily earned Caesar's trust. Now, all that remained was to frame him for her countless crimes. What? But as she was considering how to make her move, she noticed Caesar's aggrieved pupil, and a new thought entered her mind. Maybe at her encouragement, Lorenzo tampered with Caesar's magic box, causing him to fall to his death. Afterwards, Lorenzo seized his master's property, and the weasel set about tarnishing Caesar's reputation. Two co-conspirators committed the perfect crime. What? What? <sighs> I've got to hand it to you. You're both exceptional storytellers. It's enough to make even me wonder whether there was really another mastermind behind all this pulling the strings. But I just have one question. You seem to think that I am the villain in this tale. What's what? brought this on, Linny? Is it something that Lorenzo said? Don't worry. Lorenzo said nothing at all. But I never believed that he was the weasel. And in fact, my investigation only made me more certain of that. He was too forthcoming with his confession. Right. As if there was something else he was trying to hide. How disappointing. So you'd sooner trust Lorenzo than me? Even without a shred of evidence? A magician is an expert at playing the audience to get the result they want. 
And I have no doubt that you, Gemma, are equally talented wow. in this regard. With a little help from Lorenzo, you put on a very convincing performance. Fiancé. The lovesick fiancé, whose devotion wow. to her betrothed is unshakable, even under threats of violence. Caesar was maligned and hated by all for ten years, but you... Who would suspect for one second that the lovely young lady always seen weeping in front of Caesar's grave was actually the mastermind behind his demise? No, not that poor lady. Oh, wait. So you mean the whole but why would Lorenzo agree to that? And why didn't he oh, Yes, he loved her. Indeed. Perhaps. <laughs> Maybe Gemma herself could enlighten us on that question. Well, Linny, if you're so confident of having killed Caesar with his own hands, Lorenzo was plagued by overwhelming guilt. Revealing the Phantom Weasel's true identity would serve no purpose. But if the Weasel remained free, then she could take care of Lorenzo's loved ones. An excellent answer, though sadly a little dull. Is that right? Well, don't let me bore you. If you'd care to change the topic to something more interesting. As a matter of fact, there's one what? thing I'd really like to understand. Why would the real weasel have targeted things that only have value to other people? Could you shed any light on that? Of course. After of all, course. we're just telling stories here, aren't we? If I had to guess, I would say that the real weasel must have had a terrible childhood. Left to fend for herself after her parents died young. Betrayed. Scorned. Beaten. She'd how? scrounge waste paper from garbage bins to draw. How, how could she even do using that? Using twigs and dirt for lack of ink and pen. She'd sew ugly rag dolls from whatever scrap material she could get her hands on. This I mean, was her only source of you. happiness in life. But Genuinely. It was all she needed. And she was content. Until the world decided that even this was too good. Once again, she was betrayed. And this time, everything was taken from her. She felt like life was a miry pit that dragged her further down the more she struggled to escape. At that... This was a fate too cruel for anyone to bear. Her pain became a breeding Whoa. ground for dark thoughts. Thoughts which fed... I detest the happiness of others. In all its forms alike. But I will rob them of everything they hold to be good and true. You should. If you, if even if you want to do this on defense, you should do it on the people who treat you bad. Right? Heavy stuff. <laughs> now it all makes sense. Does this story satisfy you, Linny? Yes, it Linny? is quite to my tastes. Linny? Thank you for helping to clear up my confusion. Huh. That's right. Because without that, none of this would have... She didn't write the letter. <sighs> After ten long years... I'd hoped that the Phantom Weasel would be consigned to the history books by now. But it Linny. Or should I call you the Phantom Copycat now? You were the one who posted that letter outside the Opera House. Wha but why? Does Linny, Linny know if Cesar is his Very master? Very sharp, Phantom Weasel. Still <coughs> as shrewd as ever. Well, no need for me to be coy about it. Our goal was to clear Caesar's name. I think Lenny knows if Caesar is the most straightforward his way to change the public's impression of Caesar was to force the weasel to show themselves. Uh, that's it? Of course we did. We made it quite clear in the letter, I believe. I shall take from you that which you hold most. Yeah, to. see, see, Just see. As, uh, ten years ago. You mean Caesar? Uh, wait. Oh, I get it. You were those two obnoxious kids. He taught Whoa. you magic back then, didn't he? For what, ten days or something? And you went to all this trouble. We remember all our debts, however great or small. Whoa. <coughs> ten years ago, Caesar's reputation was torn to shreds, and his legacy. But we did not forget. Whoa! So let's we came go. To find you. And. What exactly did you take from me? I'm still standing, as you can see. Lorenzo has admitted to everything. I'm free. Free? <laughs> Do you really think so? 
Caesar once told me that even though the world is filled with lies and here? falsehoods, yeah. we must that find show our own truth. her evilness to the people outside. All the people is outside Oprah too? right now, right? Truth can take many forms: prized possessions with nostalgic. Whoa. Life took many things from you, and those wounds never healed. When they ached unbearably in the dead of night, stealing became your way of numbing the pain. What are you trying to say? I'm saying that for the last ten years, you've been living a rather uneventful life. Perhaps back to Lorenzo for a second. He murdered his own master, played along sure. with your act, and took pains to make sure any suspicion would be directed towards him. But what did he have to gain from all that? Yeah, he knew who you were and the things you'd done, and despite that, he was willing to give everything up for your sake. He's the reason that you haven't felt the compulsion to steal in all these years. You're more than just accomplices in murder. You're the only real friends each other has. So I think you know, deep down, that he is the only truth you have in your life. But that truth is gone now. And I guarantee you, you'll never see it again. <laughs> what? Congratulations on your freedom, Gemma. Your freedom will cost you dearly. I love From now on, you'll be all alone love. in a world <laughs> full of lies and falsehoods. I do hope you'll be able to bear it. You've still got a long life ahead of you, after all. Gather round, one and all. The time has now come for the amazing lit. I'm sure you're oh, all wondering still? what he has planned for the grand finale. Well, what do no Oh, see, so yeah, I thought you. Is a death defying high altitude escape. A high altitude escape? I thought you. I'm sure you all remember the magician Caesar. This was the very trick that led to his. So we have now learned that Caesar was wrongly accused. Guess that's my cue to leave. Whew. I've been practicing this one for ages now, but a traveler, Paimon, I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. There may be a lot of people watching tonight, but you alone are my true witnesses. <laughs> Lenny, wait. You two hid a lot from Caesar. He went to his grave without ever knowing. You don't have to tell lies to end up isolated and alone. Really? One day. You'll end up exactly where I am today. You're wrong. I'm nothing like you. Huh. So, <laughs> uh, what do we need? Like Lenny said, when you're ready, let's play. What about Gemma? She'll figure out what's best for her soon enough. Oh. Sometimes I think I'm like a gimp. Magicians are not like thieves. Thieves only True. tear things True. apart. But good-hearted magicians, How? they put things back together. She says the same, exact same thing as Lina. Lini, I mean. Lini. 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 <sighs> so hard. Lini. Alright. Let's end this whole thing. Then we can go catch on for Lily. I like Lynette more. I like Lynette as a character more. For real. Lynette's character is like, what, sassy? Uh, no, I mean, um, edgy, edgy young girl who knows what, her, what she's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And brave, clever, very logical intelligence. But she has his, uh, she has her own cuteness. What can I say? I like her. What? Why are you cheating on? Oh, I thought they, those guys are cheating for me. <laughs> oh. No one can see the box there. Are you serious? Magic should be mysterious, surprising, and defy logic. Magic is hard work. Every single movement has to be practiced thousands of times. It's alright. We're used to that. Uh, 
We're sorry. You've taught us so much, but we can't tell you the whole truth. <sighs> it's okay. Do you still remember what I told you? This world is full of lies and falsehoods. I only hope that one day, you can find your own truth. Uh, what about you? Have you found your truth? Magic is my truth. I want to perform a magic trick so great that people will always think of me when they talk about it. For a magician, what greater honor could there be? Look! Behold! Linny is sealed inside the box. Will he manage to escape? Ten years ago, Caesar attempted this very trick, and it was at this precise moment that... Why are you just confused now? You just keep on applauding. How mysterious! <laughs> I didn't blink once. He just vanished. I thought it's, right in front it of should be eyes. a dummy, right? Why did he vanish? Why why did he fall in on his own? What a heart-stopping magic show! This was really worth the trip. Caesar's name has finally been cleared, and Fontaine's new star magician Linnea has fulfilled a wish on his behalf. Oh, I couldn't ask for a better grand finale. It will make a great headline for the Steambird tomorrow, even if I do say so myself. <sighs> Looks like everyone really loves Linny's grand finale. I love it too. Prima doesn't see Linny anywhere. Where'd he go? Oh, Lynette said he'd be waiting for us at the. You so just like that, the show's finished. But um, where is that? Oh, you mean the one where? Yeah, that's probably it. This whole magic show kinda seems like fun. <sighs> All right, let's go look for him there. I mean... Uh, but... But that was, that was really cool. That was really cool. I, oh, I love it. I... Oh, Lini and Linet. Mm. I see Teru. I see Teru. I see. I see. Oh, I see. I see Teru. Kawaii. Eh, ka, no, kawaii. <laughs> I love you, Sarangi. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm very, very thrilled. Lenny! There you are. There you oh, are. Are you alright? I'm almost Yeah, there. when the chain broke. <laughs> Roll. It's, it's, sure it's, it's, it's Magic is a performance art. A magician has to get creative to keep the audience on tenterhooks. Yep, yep, yep. That's our job. So I tweaked Caesar's original setup yep, and was yep. honestly a little nervous during the live performance. The thought of falling. See, he's jumping. He's own. Seeing the sky and the ground spinning. Why? Sometimes, I can't help but. Did he regret taking Gemma and Lorenzo on? Or. Did you know. I must be wanting to ask you about something ever since we were in Caesar's workshop. You learned magic from Caesar once, didn't you? After I joined the House of the Hearth. To be honest, I told you about my past before, remember? As a young boy, I survived by secretly learning magic from street performers. 
I'd watch their tricks and try to figure out how they were done. But I quickly realized that observation alone could only get me so far. What I saw was the Paul. I needed to learn how to improve my sleight of hand, hone my misdirection skills, and make niftier props. If you guys see the details between and, uh, underneath their underneath Linus' clothes, we it looks were like gifted a that we made some progress by ourselves. But without proper guidance from a professional magician, we quickly plateaued. So that's why you sought Caesar out? Yes. We figured there was no harm in asking, but it took us by surprise that he was so willing to teach <coughs> us. If you see this here, uh, beneath his clothes, in all, there's like we only uh, spent ten short days thing. together, but he was very good to us. By contrast, we hid so many things from him. For instance, when he asked why I wanted to learn magic, I answered, it's my passion. But in truth, there was already a lot more to the story by then. Mm. After being taken in by an aristic, what amazed me was how the lie escaped my lips even as I was hesitating over whether to tell him the truth. Trust is a beautiful thing. Lenny. Oh, Lenny. Still worried about the way I feel? <laughs> you really are a gentle soul, aren't you? But don't worry, I'm used to it now. From the mansions of the elite to the house of the hearth, lies and selfishness have followed me and Lynette everywhere we go. After Caesar went on tour, mm. we became busy with our missions. The next we heard of him was that he'd fallen to his death and was now declared oh. to be that night. I remembered his smile. But as I lay there, I didn't know what to say to him. To keep secrets is to put up walls. The longer you keep them up, the less you let people in. Then, one day, you look around and realize your life is like an empty auditorium after a show. Full of seats once occupied by all the people who left. But I guess that's the price we have to pay. You only realize how much someone really meant to you when you lose them completely. True. That's why I was so confident this would hurt Gemma. Because I felt it for myself. Lenny? We are in we the auditorium and we are not going anywhere. During our journey too. But whatever happens, Paimon always believes in what tomorrow brings. Delicious food, fun toys, and the traveler by my side. Paimon just needs to focus on things. Um, you know, traveler, doesn't that kind of make you Paimon's truth? Exactly. It's the same for me and Lynette. We are the truest. Life has taken plenty from us like it did from Gemma. But at least it left us with each oh, other. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what gave us the strength to get through the oh darkest my days. Goodness. That's why the darkness never consumed me and why it never will. Maybe we live in the shadows too, but we remember every precious ray of light that shines through. All right. Time to lighten this conversation up a little. What did you think of the show tonight? It was amazing! Yeah. Hyman just wishes it was we hadn't stunning. been so distracted with this situation. Astonishing. We spent most of our time in the opera house just talking and pretty much missed the entire first half of the show. <laughs> you are keep... This is, Wait, it's all because of you, Paimon. You, you keep you on talking. One more trick for us. Whoa, that's a bit of a tall See, see, look, look. This, oh, I thought, the show's this, I thought just this finished, like a star so something, but it's just a uh, white dot. Aw, right oh, come on. Surely you can think of something. Oh, all right then. All right then. I'll give it a go, but only because it's you. Watch closely. I have a flower in my hand. You liar! There's nothing in your hand. We ain't going along with this. Huh? My goodness, you're right. But I could have sworn I brought one here with me. Hmm. Okay, try this. Count down. Yeah, so many flowers. Three, here. two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, two one. Five. Where? Now, have another look around. Maybe the flowers appeared somewhere else. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, there it is! Oh, this is a different flower from the last time. How do you know it's a rainbow rose? Called, um, but more importantly, Paimon has to know how the... Well, if you want to learn magic, you'll have to start <laughs> by addressing me as teacher. Sensei! Teach me, Sensei. Sensei Lini. Fine. Please, teacher. Teacher, please. 
Since you asked so nicely, no, I'll share one down. little tip with you. Namely, the student of magic cannot solely rely on others being prepared to reveal their secrets. You have to observe, think, uh. and find the answers for yourself. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> time, we shouldn't linger here too long. Thanks again for coming to see my show. I bid you both good night. I good look night, forward Lenny. to seeing you again. <sighs> All right, fine. See ya. Shall we head back now, too? <laughs> Paimon can't wait to read the Steambird tomorrow. Paimon bets Linny and Caesar will be plastered all over it. Let's Aww. head to the Steambird's offices tomorrow morning and see what we can find. We're still continuing the quest? I thought... <laughs> Death and Gondor. Did I... <laughs> it's a perfect ending already. Why have... Why must you... Wait, what, what time? Oh, it worked. Okay. It's a perfect ending already. We can just stop here and just memorizing the moment. Mm. That will be so. That will be beautiful already. Huh? Quest team word. What? What do you mean? What? What do you mean? What? Quest team word interview. Please complete first. Ayo. Oh, it's just something already. Guys, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, as a magic trick, I'm gonna make this uh, done. <laughs> I'm gonna make this done uh, in three, two, one. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> Ah. All right, when it comes to coining, it is such one. I just, I just keep all the, the all the conversation. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm doing this. Well, I'm doing this quest uh, part partially. Oh, only oh, it's just this. Oh, okay, okay. Right, 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 right. So you're basically you're just a commissioner, right? You're a commissioner. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. Alright, okay, I thought this is just another quest. Cause if this is a quest, then I have I have to apologize for you guys. To you guys. Wait, do I have to Oh yeah, I'm continuing the quest. Alright guys! Fala! Tada! I'm very sorry, Ta -da! Charlotte, but my sister and I are quite busy today. <laughs> I'm afraid we'll have to decline this interview. Oh please, Lenny, I'll only take a moment of your time, huh? Come on, child. Please, just shut up. Please, let I them have their peace. My piece in peace. In peace. And it was going to go to print this morning, but just as dawn broke, I suddenly received news that Caesar's oh. fiance Gemma. That was quick. That was quick. <laughs> hmm? Too late, bro. <laughs> that was quick, you say? It sounds like I've got some catching up to do. <laughs> uh -huh. Shut up, my mom. Shut up. Not lead me astray. You do have something to hide. Gemma. Maybe watching my high altitude escape trick reminded her of a better time with Caesar, and she could no longer ignore the voice of her conscience. Yeah. yeah. Okay then. Wait, no, no, no. There must be more to it. If that's all it took for her to have a change of heart, how did it take her ten whole years? Um. Well. Oh, I remember now. You and Gemma were in quickfire question. Where did you all go after the show? Oh, we went to the cemetery and Linny did a private magic trick just for us. Actually, glad you mentioned it, because that reminds Paimon, guess what? what? Linny started using rainbow roses rainbow in his tricks. Alright, alright. <coughs> what? Hmm. I don't recall ever having received a rainbow rose from you myself. Is this supposed to mean that they're more important to you than your own sister? No, I, I just... What the... What now? Shut up, Paimon! Oh, Shut up! <laughs> Seems like this interview wasn't meant to be. 
Look, forgive my persistence, but when there's explosive news waiting to be found, I yep. can't turn away. The news about Gemma has already... Apparently, one of the things she said to the guards was that her final wish is to see Lorenzo one last time. Lorenzo? Oh, hey. There's clearly a web of complicated relationships there. All right, I guess I'll leave you to continue the rest of Lorenzo. your conversation in peace. I forgot the, um, uh, the master's name already. Uh, Polly? No? <sighs> Don't worry, I wasn't... Oh, really? Oh, phew. You and me both, Paimon. You and me both. At you and least it, it you, did the Paimon, job, you. right? You, Paimon, you. Please, You're the source of, that of all trouble. Rose. I'd be really upset if you lost it. No way. M. Oh, wait, wait. Go to equity. Yo. Oh, this is the material. All right. Oh, my gosh. My gosh. It's so... My thoughts on it, I love it. I really love the way... I mean... How the magician... How the magic tricks are portrayed in this uh, whole Genshin game. Uh, even though it's just an animation. And just a whole trick, not a real magic, you guys might say, but well, it's all still good. And you know what, guys? Uh, to end this video, wait, I forgot uh, this place, right? right? And to end this video, as I've mentioned many times before, firstly, first thing first, I have to go to. Where's Lainey's house? Yeah, I forgot. Wait. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I am so, so sorry. I... <laughs> I forgot his house. No! But this house of curiosity was this? Alright. I, I can record there. All right, now champion duels. Oh, there's champion duels here. Wait, what? I forgot where's Lini's house. Lini's house is. Guys, I forgot. Is it? Is this? No, no, it shouldn't be here. Anyway, I'll just. <laughs> Damn it! I forgot where's Lini's house. No worry, I can still Caesar. I can still, I can still call for Linus' name in front of Caesar's graveyard, right? Yes. Now, guys, do I have my own magic show in my own video, right? I have my own magic show in my own video. I'm gonna set the mood at midnight because it's the darkest night. It's the darkest time of all. Yes, uh, and then this is my ritual, guys. After I finish the story quest of the character that I want to, now I'm gonna use. Uh, now I'm gonna call forward all of the gods that has that have been uh, guiding us for all this time. I summon. I some wait okay, Fenty the first the first archon second archon the third archon and the fourth archon let's go. Give me a moment to compose myself. I thought they are going to do some animations there, like yeah like that. Guys, and now the moment that you guys have been waiting for, I'll be summoning at twelve o'clock a.m. zero zero a.m. with eighty thousand. No, uh, alright. I have so many in my... <laughs> I, okay, just for you guys to see. Wait, what? Just for you guys to see. Here, this is my last character that I've pulled. So, I'm in a 50-50 win rate and still in a zero waste now. I'll present to you. All right, all right, all right. It's gonna be sick though if I if I actually get Lini in my first ten pulls. 
but at least I get linnet lah. I wish uh, in all of my posts I will get linnet somehow. Why the bell? Huh? For feminine? Feminine? Alright. First temple has gone. My second temple. Alright. My second temple. Uh, who will I got? Who will I got? I don't know. I don't know either. It's a magic show, guys. Uh, it's a magic show. You guys won't know what will I got, but. Fall! <laughs> ah, Barbara. Oh my god. Barbara. Alright. Hi, Barbara. Welcome back. Okay, my third pool. My third pool. Oh. <laughs> I thought it's golden. <laughs> I thought it's golden. I really thought it. I got a golden gacha there. Oh my gosh, Lion Sword. Oh, Lion Sword is quite good. I haven't got R5 there. My fourth ten pool. I don't know. I don't know why is this happening to me. At least I'll win the 50 50 rate. At least that's what I'll be getting at. Bennett! No! Give me, give me Lynette, Lynette, give me Lynette. How much? 60 pool, right? This is my 60 pool, right? I lost count. <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Wow! That's good, that's a good, that's a good bow, that's a good bow. I like it, I like the string a lot. Uh, this, should, this should be 70 pool, right? I don't think it's 70 pool. I think still we're still in 60 pool. I haven't got five minutes yet. No. No wait. No. All right. I think this this should be my 80 pool. I'll get. That's okay. <laughs> wait what? All right, then this shall, then this should be the seventy pool, all right? Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. All right, five minute, please. At least just get one five minute is okay with me. I'm fine with one five minute. Guys, I present to you. I present to you. Wait. Ta da! Ta da 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 da! Oh, one, two. Come with me, guys. Come with me together. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got the sister now. I got. I'll get the brother. Let's. Now I'll get the brother. Let's go. Is it just me or is it uh is it a new thing here for the emblem to to light up to light up here? I I never I never realized that uh, the emblem would be lighted up like this. But let's go! <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Yeah, guys, I think that's all. I'll conclude the video here. Thank you for watching. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, my green screen, no. <laughs> oh. No. Oh, I got carried away. <laughs> guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, as promised, this is how you do a magic trick to end your show with the grand finale. With the with the greatest uh, greatest trick ever, <laughs> the, if uh, anything, just yeah, put your thoughts in your, in the comment, like and subscribe and whatever it is. Like, <laughs> just thank you for watching. I'm so excited. Goodbye, guys. I'll do explore uh, tomorrow. I'll go to sleep. Uh, the next video I'll be doing, perhaps I might do some uh, world quest first, and then afterward I'll do the exploration. So stay tuned. I'm gonna explore the whole 
the whole uh, fountain as quickly as I can. Bye guys. This is me, Theory Key.